Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jaime Duarte. I am the CEO and co-founder of Maya Swiss. And it was kind of great to hear the success story because I see a lot of parallels uh, on my own uh, life. I moved here to Switzerland from the United States, uh, pursuing an academic career. Started as a postdoc in the lab, and I had been working in the field of rehabilitation robotics for quite a few years. And one of my biggest frustrations is we develop really cool technology that never makes it out of the lab. So we spend millions and millions of dollars, and we have the best exoskeletons, and they do everything you can think of, but they never really reach a clinic or a patient, besides the couple papers that you need to get a PhD. And when I joined the lab here in ETH Zurich, I met up with Kai Schmidt, he's a, our, my co-founder. Um, he is the thinker, um, he is the, the brains behind a lot of the operation. And he was working in something, trying to combine textiles and robotics in technology that could actually move a little bit outside of the lab. Um, when we joined forces, we said, okay, this is great, we can actually take this, this is not gonna cost a million or millions of dollars to produce, and we can make it available for people. And that is what we're doing at Mayo Swiss. So we're combining textiles and robotics um, to help people that have movement problems. This is every time you try to get up over the stair, as I'm standing here, I'm con constantly fighting gravity, which for a lot of people is not as easy. If you think of the picture of mobility aids today, it actually hasn't changed for hundreds of years. You will either be on a walker or a rollator, you might be bound to a wheelchair, those are really the only options you have if you cannot use your legs. If you try to be a little bit more adventurous, you could move to exoskeletons. These are these rigid, uh, large devices which will weigh between 20 to 30, uh, 30 kilograms. So if you wanna carry that structure around, be my guest, but it's not as easy to do. And our vision at Mayo Swiss is change this picture. We wanna make technology that we can wear, that is wearable robotics, that people can use in their everyday lives and they can forget about that they're using it and they can just walk. So this is what the product looks like. Um, that's exactly what I'm wearing. I'm wearing half of it. Uh, when we're in our booth, I will wear the full suit so you can see how it works. Um, but I am wearing part of the textiles here, and the robotics is this black box that you see here. And we've synthesized the ideas of exoskeletons to try to make them simpler and help in as many activities as we can. So this is a device that I can wear for many hours. Um, our record time right now is 12 hours uh, within the team. Um, so that's quite a long time. It's pretty lightweight, um, so you can see I, I can move around with no problem. And the controls behind it is part of, of the success of this. So it's, it's very intuitive, it's very easy to control, and you can just move and this thing will follow you, pretty much like when you control an e-bike. Our vision and where we are right now, this is our current prototype that is going into clinics. I actually just came today from Paris. We're working with the Institute of Myology there. It's one of the largest centers in Europe looking at people with, that have problems with muscles. And for a lot of these patients, they have no option. There's no pharmaceutical option. There's no other option besides some kind of mobility aid. But the current mobility aids are not ideal for their needs. So at the moment, we are in, in this prototype phase where we are working with clinics. We will be testing the MyoSuit also here in Switzerland, in the University Hospital here in, Swi in Zurich and in Lausanne. Um, and our goal is for next year to have the CE certified device that we can sell to clinics. Uh, first, we will sell it as a rehabilitation device. So you can go and work out with the Mayo suit when you go for, for um, rehabilitation training. And our long-term vision is that this is something you can wear in your everyday life. Put it on in the morning, forget about it, and just go about your um, everyday life. That is the vision of Mayo suit. Um, this is a picture we would like to see on the streets, hopefully in a few years where a lot of people that can use this technology will be able to go up and down the stairs, not think about it, and just use our technology. Thank you. <laughs>